toxic femininity. Let us imagine a planet with a world and a civilization by which she doesn't need a man but wants one. We are equal, she says. Why can't I show my nipples just as a man can? Have many men as sexual partners. Polyamory is dope. Well, then you'll just be a masculine, shameless whore. What a man can do, a woman can do better. I can take care of myself and my kids, she says. I was raised to be strong and not dependent on any man. If he comes into my life, he has to show me why I need him. Well, then you'll just be a mighty, independent, lonely bitch. We go Dutch because I don't want him to take care of me. I will never let a man be above me. Submission and obedience are words that trigger me. The whole system is fundamentally founded on patriarchy, favoring men. Then I'll have to walk naked to be taken seriously, she says. You'll just be a controlling, immoral feminist. My body is my choice, she says. I can kill anything inside it at will. And especially not any man can tell me what to build. I don't care for the next generation. I'm no keeper of society. If I have to lose my feminine essence, I will. How will they know? You are just a murderous, ignorant egotist. There are no defined roles or jobs for women or men. If only men could give birth and breastfeed, she said, the world would be an egalitarian society. Men wouldn't be masculine enough to dumb down on us. The world will be a better place because there will be a truce. Maybe for a minute. She'll beam in pride after her achievements because she is a compromising, senseless activist. What if we all imagined a world where all men were dumb and useless? Where women ruled with charisma and men bathed hopelessness? She walked butt naked to show her freedom and power. Where we all were the same with no one to tower. A man's ego was reduced to the size of his ball and his cries to the loudest ball, while a woman's worth to the mileage on her skin. It wouldn't matter from stranger to kin because she will have won if we are to begin. But before we will have been, she is a toxic feminist. She says, Thank <laughs> you.